Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to perform and interpret results of a hypothesis test using a calculator. A local health department wants to assess if the average number of flu cases this season has decreased from the historical average of 200 cases per month. The department decides to use the national health records to assume that the population standard deviation of monthly flu cases is 18. The health department conducts a survey by collecting the number of flu cases for the current month from 10 clinics and finds the sample mean is 198 cases per month. Conduct a one mean hypothesis test at the 10% significance level to determine if the average number of flu cases has decreased from the historical average. All right, let's start by setting up our null hypothesis and our alternative hypothesis. Our null hypothesis H0 is going to be that the population mean is still 200. Our alternative hypothesis is that the number of cases has decreased so that mu is less than 200. Now we're going to use the calculator to determine the probability that the average that we got of 198 cases per month is low enough that we can reject the null hypothesis. So we're going to go to the stat menu, then we're going to scroll over to tests, and we want to select the first example, Z tests. So here we're given stats, we don't have the original data. So we're going to go ahead and put in our stats. We know that the population mean is 200. We know that the standard deviation is 18, and we have a sample mean of 198, and that came from 10 clinics. And since we want to know if it decreased, we're going to do less than. We're going to calculate, and here we have our result. So looking at the calculator, we can see that our p-value came out to be 0 0.36. So the probability that I would get a mean of 198 cases if the actual mean were 200 cases is about 36%, which is above our significance level. So in this case, we will fail to reject the null hypothesis. And what that means is we do not have enough evidence to conclude that the number of flu cases has decreased. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.